YouTube's how we doing? I'm trying to catch up now. We're taking on the Blackguard scenario, the fifth, uh, fourth scenario in the Earl Sid campaign. I'm really pissed off still uh, with losing all the narration uh, for this scenario, so I have to do this all over again, which is five uh, videos. Hopefully I can perform just as well and uh, go through this smoothly and uh, complete the scenario as I would intend it to. And um, your concerns in this scenario are a little bit different than what you've had previously. Now you're going to run to the Blackguard Navy Army and Yusuf, which are your enemies. Um, King Alfonso's army is listed as a contender in this scenario, but all he has is a base that you will just take over on. Uh, once you get Alfonso and El Cid over there. So, um, the Black Guard Navy, just a little briefing on our enemies. Uh, I'll look at hints real quick. Uh, the sea can be an important battlefield as a good source of food. No, do not rely on the sea as food because if you do, uh, you, that's an indication that you... I mean, that, that, that's too late in the game for you to have to go for food for the sea and from the sea. And you'll just be far behind, essentially. Uh, save King Alfonso as quickly as possible. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, our three enemies, the Blackguard Army and Yusuf, the two land enemies, um, they use a lot of uh, cavalry archers, mamelukes, and knights to assault you, very little siege weapons. So, although they are our biggest concern, they're not to be worried about. The Blackguard Navy doesn't really attack us. They have um, the docks that we will have to destroy eventually. Um, so, try using trebuchets and garrison battering rams against them. I recommend using trebuchets and bombard cannons personally. Uh, and we are still the... Um, we're still the Saracens, so we don't have the uh, opportunity to uh, get their technologies. But it's not a big deal. They're pretty similar. So let's go on. And there are going to be some uh, voiceovers. I'll let you listen to those. Hurry, my steed. King Alfonso's forces are deep in Moorish territory and are horribly outnumbered. Numbered. Moorish. So we just got to bring these units over here for all the stone path. Uh, and it's kind of it's it's similar to the unlikely Messiah scenario in the Joan of Arc campaign, whereas you are introduced to a scenario during a, a battle, uh, or at least the battle is taking place sometimes around your introduction to the scenario. Um, and so we will see a bunch of units in battle between the Blackguard army, Yusuf maybe, and the King Alfonso. And we're gonna see King Alfonso here in a second. Let's get El Cid out in the lead because we want him to. I'll be able to save King Alfonso and get back to our base, which we will see in a little bit, as soon as possible. Keep moving. Let's go. And stay out of the fray. You don't want to get in trouble. If you have any loyalty left, you will save me from the Moors. Please, cover my retreat to my camp to the west. I mean, really, you expect me to have loyalty to you after what you've done to me? Kicking me out of your town? Eventually going to be... Uh exiling me for a second time I can't stand you you're done I would kill you if I had the opportunity to I actually hate you more than burgundy that's saying much too you fat man jigglypuff 2.0 is that what I'll call you yeah so we have to escort him not a big objective don't worry about those a second wave of marauders we must flee yes we must all right so get him inside the base now thank you Rodrigo now you must lead my army against Yusuf and his black guards. If you can destroy all of their docks, they will be unable to transport soldiers across the Strait of Gibraltar and must postpone their invasion of Spain. Alright, so he gave you a little briefing right there. Uh, we have to destroy the six black guard docks, which are there, 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 and there, which we'll get to later on. Don't worry about them right now. We're just going to worry about ourselves for right now and worry about taking out Yusuf. Yusuf is the guy that I like to target. The Blackguard army is located over here on a little... I, I don't know if it's an island, but it's an island to me in this game because it's completely surrounded by water, except for the black screen. And King Alfonso is defeated, uh, as I expected. Or, as I said, you should expect. Uh, he's not a real big player in this uh, in this scenario. So, have these guys start getting stone for you. And uh, very quickly, you want to be able to get your castle up. But you also want to be able to get handcart first before you start um, producing... All right, so we got another lumberjack. Forgot about her. Before you start producing any more villagers, because you obviously want to take care of that first. And uh, another thing you want to do is destroy these walls. So take out these walls and rebuild the wall for yourself. The reason I'm doing this is because, excuse me, I'll eventually be building a castle, and you want to have that castle to be able to build it's close uh, to over here, 
so you can take out the oncoming units as possible. So you also want to take out this pavilion and build a uh, stone wall over here or else you will get trampled. You will get curb stomped by uh, Blackguard army uh, typically. Uh, Yusuf and the Blackguard army both bring assaults at you uh, very early on in this scenario. So you got to be aware of that. Uh, Yusuf sends a pretty hefty assault early on. So um, it's nothing to, to sneeze at for sure. So um, now that we're almost ready, you want to build a lumber camp, uh, almost ready to move on with more resources, you want to build a lumber camp uh, over here. Obviously that will just give you a boost because we want to get a university up as well. Uh, the mining camp will almost be able to support a, uh, well it should be able to support a, um, like a first castle for us, but we want to get a lot of upgrades and we won't be able to get those. And unfortunately we're not going to be able to get fortified walls either uh, in this scenario. There is some stone over here that you can exploit as well, but I'll show you a strategy to uh, fend off any black guard units um, that will assault your units trying to get resources. And now we are ready to get some more villagers. So obviously focus on getting the villagers first. Um, ideally, do I have an idle villager somewhere? How did you get stuck in here? Get out of here, scorpion. Um, and scorpions, I never produce scorpions as you probably can tell. I don't know if any of you do. Uh, quite honestly, I, there's not a lot of usefulness inside in, in them. Although there's one thing that is nice, uh, because the Black Guard Army is drawn to this little wall, you can send some of your Scorpions over here, and the Black Guard Army or you line up units right here. And because Scorpions do damage after hitting one unit, and they'll do su successive damage to another unit, uh, you can really put a, a damper on. Um, what am I doing? You can put a damper on. Uh, their assault by hitting multiple units at one time. Uh, you want to protect these pavilions as much as possible. You might want to destroy a couple of them over here if you want to put down a university or something to get out of the way. Um, and usually Yusuf sends units over to take out that outpost first as well. So uh, keep producing the, the villagers. Don't be shy in producing the villagers. Uh, you can scout out with this light cavalry. Um, there's a mosque over here that I want to highlight. There's a Black Guard Navy mosque over there. Um, if you once you recover this uh, Black Guard Navy mosque, you have to cr create your own monastery, uh, and then research redemption. If you research redemption, you can bring a monk of your own over there, and that will allow you to uh, convert that mosque to your own. They allow you to do that, and then if you bring another monk over there, uh, you will be able to get all the research technologies that the Saracens have available to them from the monastery slowly but surely. I don't recommend, I, not that I don't recommend doing it, I won't do it just because I don't really need to and it's a waste of my gold, it's a waste of about 575 gold, so I'm just going to save that gold because I'm really going to need that gold later on. And I just said gold quite a bit, so I'm not going to say gold anymore for right now. I just said it again. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Um, so go over there, get some more fish. Sayem, that, that's what they say apparently. And over here is another gold pile that you want to... Um, exploit there's one right there as well but it's only 1600 gold and this is another important gold pile we'll get to later you want to build a castle over here when we have the opportunity to do so obviously we're doing all these things after getting university upgrades uh, and you can go to the imperial age as well so this is a second straight scenario you'll be able to do so here's the mosque um, and I'm not gonna be doing that you can go ahead and get all the mon mon uh, monk upgrades but I'm a hater of the monks right now I want my missionaries back so I won't be going for those and um, now I recommend getting some villagers to go for stone. You want to get that castle up for uh, really soon here. The getting that castle is very vital to your uh, survival early on. Although having these this amount of uni uh, this many units is very helpful. You want to separate these knights from the rest of your guys because these knights will help you uh, uh, a lot in taking down siege units that come, as opposed to these long swordsmen. And siege soldiers, please do not destroy all places. Instead, summon the seed to us that we may speak with him. All right, so we lost the light cavalry there. Uh, they, this is now them offering us to, to eventually convert their monastery over, which I'm not going to do. So I'm just going to ignore him right now. It's an optional objective, anyways. Uh, it's, it's kind of intriguing. They also give you a hint that if you take down the transport ships, the Black Guard Army and Navy uh, combined to have that you'll assault, uh, tech, stop some of the assaults. I don't really don't know what that means, considering the Blackguard Army has a lot of their units on land. Um, and I know the Blackguard Navy doesn't make any assaults on land. They just have a couple camels, and they will respond if you build a castle down here or a tower and get there this gold. They will send some elite skirmishers out. That's pretty much all they have in terms of um, 
units. They also have some pikemen as well, but that's pretty trivial. Alright, so keep fishing. You want to exploit all the fish kind of like you did uh, in, the, in the third scenario, the exile of the Cid as well. And uh, pretty soon, you, uh, you want to build a secondary base as well that stretches over here. Uh, you want to build a good wall, and um, by having a castle right here, for some reason their units are drawn to this area and this stone wall, and that will prevent you from having to worry once you get that, that castle up of your own. That will prevent you from having to worry um, about this stone wall right there. And we want to get some more stone up quickly, very quickly. Let's lock this gate. Make sure none of these units get out here. And uh, have these monks heal up this conquistador, these conquistadors as you continue to attack. Uh, so they're getting hit pretty good. I wonder where my other... Uh, I'm not sure where my other guys are. Where's my other monk? But you can see right there how effective the scorpion is against multiple units at one time if they're all in a single file line. So there's the monk. Uh, obviously, scorpions can't be healed by monks, but they can heal by villagers. So ideally, you want to get your conquistadors targeted, if you know what I mean. And we fought off that first initial assault, so we'll have enough to get a castle. And unfortunately, I'm not the Frank, so I can't get a cheap castle. Alright, so, alright, take these guys down, get rid of these guys. Very good. Way to go, scorpions. And you can uh, prepare these scorpions as, uh, based on how damage they get. So now we can pop down our first castle. This is the best place to put your first castle. It's a little bit in the way of the gate. Um, but it's more important to have defenses in the end. Um, and I didn't even build a, a mining camp, which is not good. That's pre pretty big oversight for me. So seven lumberjacks. Uh, we get about ten round out our lumberjack group. And things are moving a little bit slower now in terms of uh, video, so... Shouldn't be a big problem, though. Okay, so they're fishing away. We got about eight of them. We're going to need a couple more pretty soon here. And you can just have these guys go ahead and build, help build this cask. So you want to get it up pretty quickly. Because uh, Yusuf usually does arrive uh, somewhere around now. And what, with this uh, castle up, we can destroy some of these, uh, some of these um, pavilions. Just get them out of the way. Alright, so we're all way over the population limit. But that's not really an issue right now. Other than getting those villagers um, ready to go. But that castle will help us aid us a little bit and these conquistadors you want to put inside your castle as they're the only unit that you have that will allow you other than archery range units that will allow you to increase the attack power of a castle or a tower that you can put them in the castle is the only one you can put a cavalry unit in uh, as mamluks are considered hand-to-hand -hand combat units and thus you won't be able to uh, attack with a or increase their attack force okay so let's continue to work and um I recommend getting either masonry or murder holes to start out with. I'm going to go with mer uh, masonry, and obviously we're going to get hoardings later on too. So these guys are ready. We're going to have them get gold now. And we have two more to spare in our population, so I'm going to build uh, a couple more houses. Just kind of a little bit of waste of a, uh, a waste of uh, wood, but I probably could have saved one or two pavilions. Oh, oh well, big deal. And Yusuf brings in a lot of onagers early on. Uh, so, you might want to be wary of that and target his onagers first before you target a lot of his cavalry. So, uh, just advice there. And you want to get heavy plows sometime, and I recommend doing it now just because uh, you want to maximize your your time in case you don't build the stone wall right here. Uh, but it's not. A, I guess that's not a big deal. Uh, you want to, and you're going to have a couple boars that you want to get over there. Got a fishy jumping around. And we're just kind of chilling out for a while uh, before Yusuf comes in with the big bang. And I'm once again, I've already completed this scenario on screen with narration, but I uh, deleted my whole narration file and wasted an entire morning uh, trying to f retrieve it. And I realized you couldn't do that on Windows Vista, I don't believe. So I got to delete those installed programs that I tried to use to recover the files, which is a whole ordeal. Whatever. That's what you get for recording videos. And I tell you. Some of you may be wanting me to record videos more often. I mean, I try my hardest. The one video is 20 minutes long, which is a long time. That equates to all practice time. Because I know I'm going to get a lot of crap if I don't know what I'm talking about. So I got to practice it. I have to edit it. I have to publish it. That right there is like... 
that's like at least an hour and a half for each scenario not including the recording time so it's like two hours for each each video so that's it's kind of a pain and it's difficult so cut me some slack so um, we're gonna send these couple of these guys over here and then it looks like we might need another miner or two yeah we need one more um, and I get a builder I believe so I'm gonna build another house while I'm at it and and I didn't even include compressing videos you have to compress the videos as well so before uh, always make sure you get your research technologies uh, we're gonna exploit this stone pile over here and hopefully get some of the stone later on as well you won't really get it hit too much but uh, sending villagers outside your base is somewhat of a risky business uh, in this scenario as the Blackguard Army and Yusuf uh, are very aggressive in terms of attacking you with cavalry. And cavalry are obviously your biggest threat against your own villagers. And no, we don't have supremacy and you need to go into the Imperial Age uh, in order to get supremacy, by the way. Which is a, a unique upgrade uh, for the Spaniards and we are the Saracens. So we get Zeal Tree, which is very good though. 30% are 30 plus hit points provided to your camels and mamelukes. So we got nine or ten fishermen. Probably an extra builder here that I could uh, use. Uh, I guess I could. Uh, there's not too much I could build right now. We could get ballistics for sure. And the next thing you want to do is build that stone wall. And I'm going to trade some of my stuff to get some more stone, some of my gold to get some more stone so I can build that stone wall. And let's see if should I do it now. I'm gonna try to do it right now, and it might be a little bit risky, considering it seems like Yusuf will come in one assault, with an assault any time now. I'm not really sure what triggers his initial assault. Um, I don't know if it's br branching outside of your base or not, but we're gonna take the risk. So you want to build the, your wall up to here. You want to leave some room for a gate, obviously, and I need to unlock this gate first. So let's find that villager. There you are. Hey, you loyal villager. I understand. I like to get on you. My B. My B. And those are just going to continue to work. And check how many. Got. Yeah, we got 10. We got plenty there. Get some more of this perch, it looks like. And ballistics is completed. Uh, that'll help you a lot because they have a lot of quick units. Uh, both the Yusuf and the Blackguard army uh, in terms of units that will attack you. So it'll, it'll help you take out their units quicker. Uh, and whatever maximizes your your power. I lost the conquistador early on, which is probably not good. And oh yes, you want to uh, put him in the town center because you might group together some of your units, and you don't want to group King Alfonso in with them. So that's just a precautionary thing to do. And once again, you cannot get fortified walls, which sucks. I know it's kind of limiting. And looks like they're trying to get the same fish over and over. Come on, somebody's got to get it. Somebody. All right, so here the Black Art Army is coming again already. Uh, usually Yusuf comes by now. I'm kind of surprised upon the, uh, by that, that Yusuf's not arrived yet. Uh, and they might go for some of these outposts too before they go for a castle. But if they do, uh, and another thing, take out their cavalry archers first because cavalry archers have a 3 plus attack bonus against buildings. So they actually do quite a bit of damage. And since they're the only unit right now that can attack our castles, it's important to get rid of them. And uh, you want to get rid of these cavalry archers first, obviously. The camels can't do nothing to us. And let's see if we can not convert any of them over to our side, or probably have heresy. And yes, I'm saying it right now. I don't know. I I don't know why I thought I could convert over. Yes, no pun intended. To saying hearsay, but I thought I heard someone say hearsay somewhere along the road. And I don't know. For some reason, that permeated me, and I thought I had to say it like that. So now you want to get this gate down. Make sure it's in line with your uh, your walls. Hey, no, no. We want to go for the cavalry archer. Uh, you can build a monastery, but the only uh, technology you might want to get is faith, which will allow you to... All right, so here is Yusuf's assault. Uh, you want to take down their uh, onagers first, target these guys, because you're not fully upgraded in terms of your castle hit points. And they have a couple of trebuchets that they will make, but I don't believe they make them uh, quite yet. Or they use them quite yet, excuse me. So we're running out of time in this video, but I'll take down the Siege Onager, and then I'll take down these remaining units off screen, and we'll just continue to build up our uh, side base right there off to slightly west, and that's a fall. 